Just have to go there and see for ourselves. With Which way is your village? It's far to the east, through the Morgana woods. Don't waste my time. I was just getting warmed up. You better be ready.
Close one, but I am the victor. Don't get overconfident. <laughs> Sorry to cut you down. <laughs> Say, do you know why Velvet was sent to that prison island in the first place? It had to be... to funnel the other prisoners' malevolence to a Nominot, right? There's an Earth Pulse point near a ball, right? Wouldn't it have been easier just to leave her there? Lack of food, probably. I heard she devoured the entire village. Could that rumor really be true? Who can say? Let's ask Aizen's coin. You know it doesn't work like that. All right, let's think. Why else would Artorius move Velvet to the island? If she was the first Therian he captured... <gasps> he needed a guinea pig to test out what was written in the ancient book. Precisely. He made a special cage for her in the island prison, where Earth Pulse Point and Malevolence met. Then he used Velvet to test how Therians work. Huh. <laughs> I could see him doing that. But turning his own family into an experiment... I'm just offering a theory. But a man willing to sacrifice his brother's life wouldn't likely show mercy to his sister either. 
How could he be capable of such things? Perhaps that's just how badly he wants to save this world. Or perhaps there's no other way it could be saved. Huh? I wonder what Velvet's hometown is like. A ball? I've heard about it from other sailors, although that was a long time ago. They said it's a fairly plain place, and it's home to rustic, hospitable folk. That sounds like any country village to me. I wonder if Velvet used to be rustic and hospitable. Oh, you mean to say she's devious and rude now? N not at all. <laughs> it's okay, you can admit it. It's pretty much the truth. Well, I imagine she was a plain, hardworking girl. Hmm? You really believe that? Call it a guess, really. I bet she was a cheerful, loving sister. Maybe so. Hmm. And now she's the Lord of Calamity. If she sees her former friends, maybe she'll remember some of what she's lost. But what has she lost? You're strong, but I'm oh, strong. Oh, I'm not strong. 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 Thank you. 
at this Earth Pulse point, too? If you're expecting something like the undersea or underground temples we saw before, you might be setting yourself up for a disappointment. Have you been there before? No. But if there's any such kind of grand structure here, it wasn't recorded in the Abbey's archives. Eastgand has long been a frontier, and civilization here was never really developed. Plus, the land to the east is said to be unstable, making it hard to build anything too large there. Even if a temple had been built there, the shifting earth would likely have swallowed it without a trace. The worship of Inominat may be widespread now, but just a few years ago, Empyrean faith was all but dead. Right. Still, if you actually searched for the ruins, I bet you could come up with something incredible. We've seen underwater and underground temples, so why not a temple in the sky? A temple in the sky? It's a romantic thought. And the ancients were certainly advanced, but... Flying temples are a bit far-fetched, eh? <laughs> hey, that's the beauty of magic. Anything could happen. A flying temple, a beautiful woman being sawed in half. The border between dream and reality is as fine as a frog's hair. Maybe you just spend too much time daydreaming. Maybe. <sighs> Ugh! <laughs> 
more compassion from me. Deadly weapons. Huh. 
What'll it take to make you go all out? Voice. believe it. Is it really you? Uh, uh, <laughs> Velvet? What is this? How are you alive? I could ask you the same question. Where have you been this whole time? You just up and disappeared. Everyone thinks that you were eaten by a demon. But I knew it couldn't be true. You're too strong to let some crummy demon take you down. You're alive. I... I didn't mean to embarrass you in front of your friends. I have to let everyone know the good news! You finally come back to us! 
Nico's alive. She's alive. Don't let your guard down. I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, naturally, we've got a Reaper with us. Let's head for a ball. We can ask everyone there exactly what happened. Y yeah. Velvet, I have to ask. Are you sure that the other villagers died that day? Well, it's... It's not like I had time to check.
Luffy. Velvet, are you all right? Of course I'm all right. I know I'm right. I'm sure of it. This isn't how the village should be. Well, let's stay calm and investigate. I am calm. I'm fine. Really. It didn't seem like that was someone else masquerading as this Nico girl. But if she's the real thing, then something very unnatural is going on. You get me, Rokuro? Yeah. We'd better keep an eye out. <laughs> 